Hello, this is a demonstration of the operation and construction of a uh, air flap deployment of a parachute on your model water bottle rocket. Uh, it deploys after apogee every time so you don't have premature deployments. First uh, operation and then the construction. Let's rotate this around a little bit. There you go. Now, take the demonstrator parachute here, place it inside the bay. There's a false wall back here so it's not too deep. This is important. There's a little flip out device attached to the door. Place your parachute in there. All right. Close it up. Close the other door. Right. Rubber bands draw it out. When it opens up, shoots out your parachute like that. I'll do that again with the second parachute. All right. We place it inside like so. Close the door. Heavy, par heavy rubber band here pulls over the top. That's what uh, keeps the doors closed. It attaches to your air flap by some pins on the back. Right there like that. As the rocket goes up, as the velocity decreases, the air resistance decreases, the, power, the flap comes up and releases like that. Now the construction. The air flap. Do not use a small air flap like this. It will deploy prematurely each time. Not enough uh, surface area. This is 12 inches long. It's made out of curved balsa. You might be able to use other products. Now there's some pins here to which the rubber band is attached and a pin on the bottom. The pins are simply constructed out of ordinary paper clips. You take a large paper clip on the upper side here. On the inside it's curved into that shape goes through a hole and the pin sticks out right there. There's the pin there. There it is on the inside. That shape. Alright. You take a piece of ordinary packing tape like that, slap it on, and that's what secures it in place. Going down to the bottom, on the bottom of your air flap, there's a pin there. On the outside, I use soft copper wire, simply because it's easier to bend and then make adjustments on it. Curve it like that. Alright and tape it right on the outside like so. Slap some packing tape over it and it's secured in place. The hinge is up here, nothing more than packing tape. On the outside and the inside, double layers, it hinges on the tape. Same thing on the hinges of the doors. Packing tape outside, inside, couple of layers there. You'll notice the doors are powered by a rubber band here. Secure mechanism for the rubber band it's very, very simple and cheap product. It comes in a little package like that. They're a little, you can get them at Walmart or Staples. It's a little brass button with two little legs on it, a lot like a counter pin. Okay, you punch a hole. All you do is this to install it. Punch a hole in the material. You take your two legs, insert them through the hole. So you have the button head on the uh, outside and you bend over the legs. They secure it on the inside. You take your rubber band or string or whatever, hook it around there like that, and you've got a nice, secure, cheap, easy to install device. All right? So once again, it operates like this. You take the real parachute. All right? You partially close the door and set it inside this device. This is five inches by two inches. Piece of plastic cut out of a 7-Up bottle. It's taped on top of the regular door so that when that door opens, it slings the parachute out. There you go. Just place it in there like that. All right. Close the other door. We take the large rubber band, bring it over the top, and secure it to one of the pins there. Down here on the bottom, this pin goes into a little hole in this 2 by 2 inch piece of clear plastic, like so. That keeps it from deploying while you're ready to launch. When you do launch your rocket, the velocity from the take of the air from the takeoff knocks that down, and your air flap is ready to deploy. As it's ascending, air keeps it from going up all the way. When it reaches apogee, it goes up and up and up until it's almost ready to deploy. The rubber band will come off the pin, and there you go. Parachute comes out. Works 100% of the time. You uh, adjust when it deploys by changing the strength of the rubber bands and most importantly the location of the pins. I suggest you start with at least two pins, maybe three, find the one that works best for you. If you reduce the weight of that flap, the rubber band will pull it up more quickly, more easily. 
If you reduce the surface area of that flap and use something small, it'll deploy prematurely uh, all the time, and it'll parachute will come out and just yank your rocket out of its flight. So use 12 inches long, adjust the rubber bands. Highly recommend you add this ejector to your door. Enjoy it and have fun.